Amen. One more time for the Holy Ghost. Amen. If you would turn with me, Luke, the fourth chapter, the 42nd verse, Luke, the fourth chapter, the 42nd verse. We do want to thank God for the music ministry here at Community of Hope, Brother Philip Bryant. Sometimes what God will do is God will allow our prayer to praise and worship to set the stage for the word in such a way that it shifts even how the word shall be proclaimed. And I believe that it is out of gratitude that we can then be able to move to what God has for us to move to. And sometimes you have to get into a place of thanksgiving, a place of gratitude, because it reminds you of all that the Lord has done. And when you remember all that the Lord has done, then it helps you to have a faith posture to understand what God is about to do. Lord, because if you look at your life, you can really realize that for some of us, what God has done does not make sense. That what God has been able to get us up out of, nobody could get us out of but God. That if we look back over our lives and we really think about it, that what the Lord has been able to do has really been magnificent and marvelous. And I've come by today because I believe this word is, I'm going to preach, I believe this word is going to share with us a challenge for many of us. But I've come by to let you know that if God can get you from where you were to where you are, then God can take you from where you are to where God needs you to go. And you cannot get so stuck in thinking about where you are that you don't realize that God is good enough, that where you are is really a testimony to the power of God. And I know you've got some challenges where you are. I know you're not where you want to be. But have I got somebody here that knows you sure enough not where you used to be? And if it had not been for the Lord that was on your side, Lord have mercy, where would I be? Where would I be? And so that takes us to Luke, the fourth chapter, the 42nd verse. Basically says, at daybreak, Jesus went out to a, my goodness, solitary place. The people were looking for him when they came to where he was. They tried to keep him from leaving them. But he said, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also, because this is why I was sent. And he kept on preaching in the synagogues of Judea. My brothers and my sisters, uh, I'm going to pray, but our sermon is going to be, I can't stay here. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can't stay here. I can't. I can't stay here. As a matter of fact, here goes the prayer. God, finish it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I thank God for what the Lord has already started, and I believe God's about to finish it. Turn to somebody and say, God's about to finish it. God's about to finish it. Turn to somebody else and say, God's about to seal it. God's uh, about to seal it. Turn to somebody else and say, God's about to put the stamp on it. God's about to stamp it. God's, my goodness, turn to somebody else and say, God ain't just about to stamp it. God's about to stamp you. God's about to, to stamp you. Uh, what do you mean, God's about to stamp me? Well, well, well sometimes when you you get the stamp, you get the seal of approval. Have I got somebody up in here? That God's about to stamp you, give you the seal of approval. God's about to stamp you and, and say that you're a USDA, a, 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 a grade A. God's about to, to, to stamp you and let the world know that you're the greatest and the first. Oh, God, have mercy. God's about, God's about. I wish I had somebody in here that would give God some praise if you know God's about to do it, if you know that God's about to seal it, if you know that God's about to stamp it, if you know that God's about to stamp you. Have I got anybody in here that's ready for God to let you loose on the world? Have I got anybody in here that's ready for God to let you loose on your new season? Have I got anybody in here that's ready for God to let you loose on your potential and your possibility? Have I got, I got, I got, I got anybody in here uh, that knows that now is the time. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I can't stay here. I can't stay in the same old situation. I can't stay in the same old uh, circumstance. I can't stay in my same old mess. I, I've got to go on from here. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Reverend Bill, that's the whole sermon. I can't stay here. That's the, I don't need three points today. God already gave us the first two. My third point is you can't stay. 
right where you are. But it's time for you to go higher to where God has called you to go. Have I got anybody in here? You want to go higher? Have I got anybody here? You want to get to where God's got for you to get to? Right here in Luke, Jesus was doing a work for the Lord, healing the sick, demons getting up by the folks, and folks were trying to keep Jesus right where he was. Jesus said, I'm doing a good thing right here, but I'm sorry, but I can't stay here because God's got a work for me to do, and I can't stay here. Right here is good, but I've got to go to great. Is there anybody up in here that you want to move from good to great? Is there anybody up in here that you know that you can't stay in your comfort zone? But your comfort zone is getting too comfortable. But God is saying, it's time for you to move a little higher. If I got somebody in here, then let me show you here. Right here, I'm good. Right here, I'm doing all right. Right here, things are going all right. But God said, I want you to move from good up to great. Because when I make you great, but the only challenge is that when I'm great long enough, my great then becomes my new good. If I got somebody in here that knows that God wants to take you to a place that what seems great now is just going to become your normal, your good. But when that becomes my comfort level, God said I want you to move a little bit higher. Because you've got to go to great again. But is there anybody that knows that when I move to great again, and I walk around in great, and I talk around in great, and I live around in great, my great becomes my good. And every now and then, I got to go what? A little higher. And I got to go to great again. Is there anybody in here? I can't stay here, but I got to go higher and higher and higher. Somebody say higher. Say higher, say higher, 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 higher. God, take me higher. Have I got anybody in here that will give God a higher praise, a higher shout, a higher celebration that we're about to go higher, 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 higher. Stay here. I've got to go higher. See ya. See ya. See ya. Higher. 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 I can't stay here. God has built me for more. What? I was created for this. Higher. Higher. I shared it. 10 o'clock service. Comes a point in your Christian journey. Stand up. We done. That's it. Comes up. Stand all over the church halls that are able. Comes a point in your journey. As a Christian, that your battle is not always about saying, I can't stay here and moving up out of mess. Your battle isn't always, I can't stay here and moving out of sin. No, no, no. See, we done worked a lot of y'all past your sinful lifestyle. Now, I'm trying to help you not to get com complacent in your consecration. God didn't set you free. You're not living the way you used to live. Not talking the way you used to talk, not walking the way you used to walk. And you're getting complacent because you're living good. And I'm telling you, God wants to take you from good to great. The challenge for Jesus could have been everybody kept telling him how good he was and how he was doing so good. But he knew his purpose was for more than where he was. And the challenge and what you're feeling for a lot of us in here right now, your situation isn't what it used to be. 
You're not living bad like you used to be. You're doing better by God. You ain't perfect, but you's better. Have I got a witness in the house today? But you're feeling a stirring in you that there's got to be more than this. Your challenges, you've never seen the more. But just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not there for you. And I've come to speak prophetically over your life that I don't care how good you are right now, you can't stay there. It's time for you to go what? Higher. You can't stay there. If Jesus stayed where he was, there are whole towns that would have never been blessed by him. Not just that, if he stayed where he was, he'd have never got to the cross. And therefore, over 2,000 years later, we'd never be here talking about we celebrate a Savior who fought death and won so that we could have power. You've got to go from good to great so your children can understand what great looks like. You've got to go from good to great so that generational curses can fall up off your family. I know that everybody had broken up relationships, busted up marriages, a poor credit and all that kind of stuff, but it need to stop with you because you can't stay there no more.